the Vice Chancellor, Professor Frida Brown, the Chief Guest, Professor George Makoha, Board of Trustees, the Chancellor, Dr. Manu Chandaya, the University Council, the University Senate, Management Board, faculty, students, staff, and alumni present, parents and guardians, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and the graduating class of 2022. Good morning. <laughs> I'm extremely honored to stand before you and give this address on behalf of my graduating class. I remember receiving this email and thinking to myself, am I now an adult? It seems like such an adult thing to do, right? Give a valedictory speech. So here goes my attempt at being an adult. What a great feat it is to be graduating today and finally getting to step on the grass for free. <laughs> we made it here with plenty of odds stacked against us. <laughs> we made it here with plenty of odds stacked against us. We soldiered on through a global pandemic and transitioned seamlessly into e-learning like we've been practicing for it all of our lives. We maneuvered seamlessly through hybrid learning and some of us even made it back into traditional brick and mortar classes. We are persistent, we are resilient, we are the future. Dolly Parton once said, we cannot direct the wind, but we can adjust the sails. This unique voyage of ours, undertaking our studies through a pandemic, has kept us on deck, on task, adjusting the sail every so often to make sure the wind takes us where we need to be. Through this, we have proven that adaptation is part of our makeup. We're all about to set out into the great big world and do very adult things. Adulting requires of us constant adaptation to new environments, new people, new experiences, and sometimes even new food. At this point, if we know nothing else, we know that we can do it. We'd not be here today without the faculty that have helped mold us into the bright stars we are today. As hectic as all the assignments, term papers, group work presentations were, every one of them contributed to this very moment, and if for nothing else, we should at least be grateful for that. It goes without saying that week seven and week 14 will not be missed. <laughs> Those traumatic numbers, reminiscent of the fact that the pressure is getting, exactly that. <laughs> we can finally go back to reading calendars by months and not by weeks reflective of what is due. My personal experience with university has been, to put it mildly, challenging. I've had a few starts and stops, but the fact that I'm here, standing here today is proof positive that with determination and the right support system, both of which I had, anything is possible. I would like to thank the Financial Aid Office, Educate Your Own Program, and the Counseling Center, who are all instrumental in keeping me afloat and providing support when I needed them the most. I would like to offer my deepest and most sincere thanks to my mother, hi mom, Anastasia Chang, without whom, quite literally, I wouldn't be here today. It is bittersweet leaving somewhere we have called home for so long. So many aspects of school and campus life will be missed, but I can find a few that none of us are going to miss. Assignment due at 11.59 p.m. <laughs> Pop quiz, group work with non-responsive group members, Saturday classes, safe assign that comes back with a 47% plagiarism report, <laughs> Zoom University, mute your mic, Turn on your video. I can't do that, prof. I'm still in a bonnet. <laughs> as much as it is more common for us to look outside for heroes on graduation day, I see so many before me today. I see leaders. I see helpers. I see trailblazers in caps and gowns. We have shown not just the world, but also ourselves, that we are survivors. We have not only survived this pandemic that has fundamentally changed how we interact with the world, but we've grown from it. We've used it as an opportunity to strengthen our friendships, and relationships, and hopefully, we've also convinced anyone looking to hire us in the future that we can work from home. <laughs> Finally, in the famous words of the ever-fabulous Lupita Nyong'o, I personally know that I'm capable of anything I put my mind to. Whether someone agrees with that or not is of no concern of mine. So believe in yourself, we've made it this far and nothing can stop us now. It would be a crime for me to be a Spanish minor who does not address you in Spanish. So to prove to my professors Maria del Rocio and Pablo Rubio that they did not waste their time, gracias a todos por su tiempo y enhorabuena a clase la, <laughs> relax, <laughs> enhorabuena clase la 2022, lo hicimos. Translation, thank you all for your time and congratulations to the class of 2022. We did it.